All right, hey guys, welcome to Home Theater on a Budget. Today I'm going to show you Sherwin Vega style home theater. This is something I built uh, because I have three home theaters. This is just an ordinary room, kind of half gym, half uh, for sports. But I wanted good sound, and then I thought, why not? So this is affordable if you worked at McDonald's or Sonic or whatever. You know, your receiver might be different, but we're all, a lot of us are paycheck to paycheck. Now, I'm a computer technician, and I got three home theaters, but I worked my butt off, uh, and this one here, I nickel and dimed it. But I, it took me a year to get everything, but I wanted to see if I could save money and do it the right way. So I'm going to show you Sherwin Vega Home Theater. So my home theater, you know, I, I, I've done a video before. The back half of my home theater, it's pretty much a gym, okay? So that's why it's kind of a multi-purpose room, because right here is our line. So let me, let me show you some of our speakers, okay? This is one of our rear presents. Did you know that almost every speaker you take apart, take apart today is four ohms? So I thought, okay, I'm going to buy a cheap speaker with a really good box. That way I could modify it. Sound appeal speakers have one thing really good. They're fairly flat to begin with. They have a good quality soft dome tweeter. The woofer, it was kind of weak. Didn't care. The box is solid. It's front ported. It could hang on a wall. These Sherwin Vegas are six and a half inches, 100 RMS, 400 watts max. These are my rear presents. Really, really good speakers. So my front speakers, this is how they normally look. And what I do, you know, I keep the sound appeal there because sound appeal has a lot to do with this, e even though, even though I'm customizing them. You know, every one of my speakers like this, every one of them, they all look good, they're stylish, they look clean, but they're, they're all these Sherwin Vegas six and a half inches. If a helicopter goes back here and blows up, these are set to small and 60. But I've ran them, uh, when I built them, I put them on my front speakers of my Yamaha 3070. They were crazy loud with bass. Sensitivity on all the Sherman Vegas are set at 93. This here is a JBL Studio box that used to have a little four inch and a titanium tweeter. So the box weighs a ton. It's like 70 pound box. Um, what I did, changed the woofer out, resized the hole, and you can kind of see where, you know, a little modification there. Popped in a six and a half inch for the mid range, and what it is is a 400 watt uh, mid range um, titanium tweeter here, and then a 800 watt sub. And let me tell you, this whole setup, technically, when I check the uh, check the amps on it, it clocks out at two ohms because the subwoofer is at a two ohms. Yamaha 3070 says it'll do two ohms, but I don't think this is a true two ohms because it tests kind of funny. So I think it's more of a four ohm speaker. The sub is either a two ohm or an eight ohm sub. And let me tell you, we're not going to run in the eight ohms, but the speakers are really, really good. So both of these are loud. And what we had to do, we had to move these because look where my TV's at, okay? Most people put their speakers right between that black and yellow. And that's where I had mine. You know, you have a rear presence and a front presence. How many people could say they could hear them when they're up there? You know, you guys have all this money and, and clips and SV SVS and, you know, paradigm speakers, whatever it is. I'm not going to say Bose because if you have Bose, you're not even on a budget. Even Bose is expensive. But... I moved them here. So I have a low ceiling, right? So with my chairs here, look what I have. If I'm sitting here in my chair, I got a rear speaker shooting over my head. I got a front speaker sitting over my head and I got my sound speaker, all Sherwin Vega. And the trick is these front ones are titanium tweeters, titanium in the front. I left the soft dome tweeters here. These the, the tweeters themselves technically are not showing Vega, but oh my gosh. 
sound really, really good. The titanium tweeters are loud and sharp, but I wanted the rest of the speakers to have a little different tone since these are what surround me. The front speakers is where a lot of the action and blow explosions happen. So I was like, I'm gonna leave titanium here. The center speaker, 500 watt center speaker. When you're sitting here normally, you cannot see it. You just know it's a big, very, very loud center speaker. And let me show you. So we're gonna come up here. We're just gonna pop this grill off and pop this grill off and we're gonna sit back. These speakers here are two Sherwin Vega six by nines, okay? 500 watts a piece. So what did I do? I took the plus uh, to the minus on the other one and then took the plus and minus off each one. These are running at eight ohms. I hated to do it, but you know, I wanted to, to have everything at four, at four ohms on the front or lower. So, but oh my God, if these were at four ohms, they would be even louder. These suckers are loud. My front speakers are not nearly as loud as they should be, and that's because I'm using a JBL amp on the, I mean, crossover on the inside, and it's a really good crossover. My subs. Okay, I got two acoustic uh, PL200s, or whatever, Bic Acoustic PL200s. These suckers rock. They are $300 on Amazon. They go from 200 hertz all the way down to 19. I've tested all the way down to 18 with noticeable sound. So with the front set to large and they're set all the way down to 40 on the hertz. So with the subwoofer in the front, I can't record the sound for you because iPhones are terrible at that. But sitting here, sitting here what we get with the, with the way it's set up, the speakers moved up instead of in between that top corner of the Falcons and the, and the sign, the sound goes over our head, the placement. I mean, as soon as I moved them from that above the TV to there, now, oh my gosh, they are a speaker in your room that makes a difference. And let me show you this real quick, okay? So this speaker right here, okay? Now let me see this real quick. I'm using my iPhone, so I apologize. This is the way my speaker normally looks, okay? It's a clean speaker. And you know, the speaker shows a little bit on the top, but that's, that's because when I custom built it, um, it kind of shows, but you don't notice it. And then I put little skeletons on it because I had a little imperfection right there. But it's a good, clean speaker, and all my speakers, even though they're Sherwin Vega, and if I could leave them all like this, they would all look really, really good. But you could take any cheap speaker off Amazon, any cheap speaker, buy it for the box. Put your own speaker in it. I don't care. If you like Alpine, whatever the car audio is, massive speakers, you could build your speakers. Crossover is very important. Tweeter is very important. The front, the front's at 500 watts, the Yamaha 3070, and I will tell you guys right here, this is a, this right here, it, and the lighting's kind of bad, this is a Sony, it is a Sony X700. And yeah, you can tell I'm not uh, doing a lot of videos, uh, but I had an Xbox sitting here. And um, even if you get the Xbox X, they do not compete with Blu-ray players. They're good. They can, they can output everything in Dolby Atmos all the time. But the picture quality, when I went to a Sony uh, Blu-ray player, this X700 that does Dolby Vision and everything, it's crazy. And I got an Apple 4K there, a Roku, uh, an Alienware Media Center, Amazon Recast. And behind this setup, I have a, uh, behind the uh, Yamaha, I got an Amazon Fire Stick that works with the Recast. But this is just a quick look at my home theater. Nothing fancy. It is mainly meant for sports. So the grass is green, the skies are blue, the yellow is the sun. So when I sit here, you know, I could black it out with the blackout curtains. 
And now the 65 inch TV, you really feel really close to it. And what we plan on doing, you're gonna notice here, we're gonna move the TV back just a little. And we're gonna buy a- Sorry, this device lost its connection. We're gonna buy a drop down for a big screen. And then I'll do a laser projector. And that's not on a budget, but that's what I'm waiting for is a laser, uh, is a laser projector. But, you know, until then, and, and I'm going to keep my TV, I'm just going to have a drop down that drops the screen down, and then I could put it back up when I don't want it. And if I could ever wait for the laser projectors to get cheap, then that's what I'll do. It's going to be up front, nothing on the low ceiling. Okay, my sorry, my I'm having trouble understanding right now. My Alexa's going Please crazy, so I'm I'm gonna let you guys go, and I hope you enjoyed this home theater uh, by Sherwin Vega. Okay, you could do it on a budget with whatever speaker you want, customize it any way you want. A cheap box off Amazon, your favorite six and a half inch or your favorite speaker on the inside. Just have an ohm meter and test the speaker before you pull it out. And, oh my God, like I said, these can be front speakers. They could handle a large setting. Without a problem, you could set these to large, and they will bass just like any other speaker. Especially for the money, I think these are $50 speakers when you bought them. Then you buy the Sherwin Vegas for $60. So 120 front speakers, not bad for the price. But hey guys, thanks for, thanks for joining Home Theater on a Budget. And... Um, Sherman Vega home theater style. Talk to you later.